scripture is sufficient to answer every issue in this culture. Every single one. Every single issue. So we don't hesitate to do an episode on George Floyd. We don't have, we don't hesitate to do an episode on Black Lives Matter. Well, you, you, you kind of hesitate. I, well, I did. Yeah, you can. Well, listen. You can. Okay, since he's calling me out, I need to get this out. <laughs> See, you went there, so we gonna go there. <clears throat> All right. So the... Go, go, go ahead, Bishop. Go ahead. <laughs> See, let me talk about that too, by the, by the way. We have so many inside jokes, man, that our listeners don't get. So when he calls me Bishop, what that is, that's a tongue-in-cheek reference to Bishop T.D. Jakes that he's trying to make fun of. <laughs> so I'll say that to him, spo- Everybody wasn't supposed to know that. I'll man. say to him, <laughs> I'll say, yo, what's up, what's up, Pastor? And he'll go like, what's up, Bishop? <laughs> I'm, I'm curious, Phil, do you have a, a, a way that you think through what you do on Twitter? Is there a process that you have for how you, how you interact on Twitter? <laughs> it's pretty obvious that the answer to that's no, right? <laughs> I want to know when it was that Steve Lawson told one of his excellent golfing sons that they were playing golf tomorrow and it snowed. Or whether this right. was a we, we, whether, we the, whether have, this was a slight on those who live in northern climates. All right, Sinclair, we we actually have had to wait until the temperature reaches thirty two degrees before they would let us walk onto the greens. Uh, just a bunch of wimps. <laughs> <laughs> and I would add to, to that the expectation of the people I love most. And that would begin with my wife, Patricia, who thinks I ought to live everything I've ever said in my entire life in perfect accord with Scripture. The woman is ridiculously unrealistic. (laughs) But I do confess that her high expectations, and you know what I mean, because you have one of those. Uh, I have both friends and foes on Twitter. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. That, that's why I pointed to Phil first. The answer was, <laughs> well, bro, don't don't get to pointing because I'm. Yeah. I mean, well, let's face it. I'm I'm an easy target. I'm not as likable as any. Right, of you right, guys. right. But I have to say, it was it was Owen yesterday who got threatened by a woman uh, who said he needs to be punched in the jaw. Wow. And here it is, right here. I I didn't agree with her Twitter, by the way. I, I, you literally could punch me in the jaw, though, no, if you wanted I, to. I would, if I had to punch you, it would be in the nose. But. <laughs> Does Christ's prayer for unity in John 17 indicate that we should pursue the elimination of institutionally distinct denominations? Oh, that's a history question. <laughs> we, we should vigorously seek to end denominational distinctions, and everyone should be Dutch Reformed. The the fact that a lot of that history, as bad as it was, was wrought because we're sinners. Yeah. As I'm listening to you kind of unpack that, I'm already in your history class, and I'm just thinking, yeah, this would be good. This would be really good. You have to you have to raise your hand, bro. I know, but I just <laughs> He's the teacher. <laughs> Sorry, I was involuntary. Um, what would you be doing? I would be a an astrophysicist. See how how impressive that is? And when you get to my age, several things happen as you get older. Several inevitable things will happen. I can tell you from this is the view from the hearse, okay? Um, several things will happen. One, you'll get a constantly longer shoehorn. <laughs> this is a very, very de- divisive issue that uh, shouldn't be divisive, but it is. And uh, Del, before you go for can I say one other thing? Um, I, well, just, it was, it, we only it was, have 20 seconds, yeah. so take okay. it. Well, it's, no, it's, I'm, it's, I'm you're hoping I leave you no time. Please. Three days later. Less accusatory, one to another within the church. 
So, well, I, I hope that does continue. Yes, just a minute. I just wanted to see how gracious and patient you could be. <laughs> I owe you. Del Tackett is a very Go gracious ahead, man. <laughs> no, no, please. Uh, I was just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and so as a result of that, I was telling everybody that, I, you know, growing up, I was going to be an astrophysicist, and they were just dumbstruck. You should do, <clears throat> you, as I listen to you, bro, I'm thinking about one of those Holiday Inn Express commercials where you can say, well, I'm not an astrophysicist, <laughs> but I did stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night. <laughs> So, you can just wing it, bro. Just say the word and just wing it. So not people, not many people know this, but Virgil and I graduated from the same high school in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Yes, we did. Nathan Hale High School. And I don't uh, think they claim us, though, Phil. No, but neither can they claim any astrophysicists. <laughs> there you <See>? go. <laughs> I think I think the most famous graduate of our high school is Gary Busey. Oh. And he's kind of typical, isn't he? <laughs> this is a qualitative statement. They're qualitatively better than the old heaven and the old earth, but not qualitatively better like, you know, a, a 2010 model Mercedes and a 2020 model Mercedes. I know you say Mercedes. But you go and buy one and get that first car note, and you'd be saying, mercy, these payments are killing me, right? What does a church look like that makes God's Word central? Well, it really begins with the pulpit. Um... So, Lee, you're, you're, you're talking about what, what would it look like to, for a church to, to have a, 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 it would be a Bible-centered church, I think was your question. Right. <laughs> I just didn't, do you, do you, I didn't. Do you know how many questions I had prepared for you today? <laughs> I just didn't want him to interrupt me anymore. <laughs> What, what's, what, what's fascinating is that I, you've covered every one of the questions. Right? That's because I wrote the questions for you. So, If you weren't doing what you're currently doing in the way of work, what would you be doing? Wow. Okay. Yeah, um, what would you be doing? You took, it, you took it to a different place there. I did. I thought we were doing theology and no. ministry. And here I am, now I'm thinking about being a Viking right. or a cowboy, <laughs> but um, this is your fault. You asked this no, question. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, no, okay, no. okay. You know, I, I think the only way forward with, with people who don't yet fully see the truth um, <laughs> is to sit down with open Bibles and keep talking. There's no other way forward. And, uh, and that's a wonderful thing. Um, when I... Uh, when I sit and talk with Lutheran friends or Pentecostal friends or Baptist friends, um, acquaintances. Um. Anybody, Phil, what would you be doing? Yeah, it's interesting you'd ask that question because I actually was thinking about this earlier this week. Somebody released those uh, those videos on YouTube that were humorous clips with me and John MacArthur. Yes. And in one of them, he was reminiscing about the fact that the first time I ever heard him speak it was only because Darlene, my, who's now my wife, she was just a girl I was dating at the time, uh, she coaxed me to go listen to him. And someone watched that and wrote on Facebook, Phil, where would you be without Darlene? I know exactly where I'd be. I'd be living under a bridge with all of my possessions and a shopping cart. <laughs> that's, that's, that's kind of the view that you have of, of California living. That's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's pretty, that's pretty much that's true. exactly that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so so we, we would be watching memes of you kind of doing things that... People shouldn't That's be right. watching people do. I have one of those majestic beards. Uh, yeah. No question about it. Got it. <laughs> well, look at what the Lord has done, right? Indeed. To be a united church with our brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, 
but where brothers and sisters in Christ are intransigent on certain issues, Don't encourage him, because he's all wet. I'm not all wet, and that's why I can't join one of Mr. Lawson's denominations. We, we, we've got to put the break on here, though, because we're, <laughs> hey, we're, I, we're, I'm we're not. seven minutes over. <laughs> oh, we're seven minutes over right yeah, now? Yeah. I, I think I did pretty good. <laughs> would, would you join me in thanking Dr. Stephen Lawson?